Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 70, Power BI in Portal Studio. The 2020 Wave 1 release for Power Apps Portals includes a simplified method for adding Power BI dashboards and reports on your portal. Previously, you needed to craft a liquid statement in order to display Power BI. Now, with the Portal Studio, there is a Power BI component that creates the liquid statement on your behalf. When editing a page in the Portal Studio, in the Components area, you'll now see Power BI. If you haven't done so, you first need to enable the Power BI integration via the Power Apps Portals Admin Center. Depending on the access type, you'll need to enable either Power BI Visualization or Power BI Embedded. The three access types are Embed for your customers. This leverages Power BI Embedded. Embed for your organization. This can be used when portal users log in with Azure Active Directory, like in the case of the employee self-service portal. Publish to web. This allows you to share reports or dashboards with anyone. Although be aware that in order for this to work, the report or dashboard is available to anyone on the internet that has the URL. Once you select your access type, you need to select which report or dashboard you'd like to display. If you don't see the report or dashboard you're expecting, make sure that it has been shared with the user you are logged in with. You can also apply roles and filters, depending on what has been configured for your report or dashboard. For Publish to Web, simply paste in the embed code URL. Once you've selected all the options, the Portal Studio generates the necessary liquid statement, and your Power BI report is available via Power Apps Portals. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 70 on Power BI in the Portal Studio useful.